गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स द फाउंडन गेट अहमद चैप्टर 3 वर्सेस 15 द फाउंडन गेट वाज नॉर्थ ईस्ट ऑफ डंग गेट नियर द पूल ऑफ सेलोम बाय द किंग्स गार्डन एज रेफर्ड इन सेकंड किंग्स चैप्टर 25 वर्स 4 एंड इट लेड इनटू द किड्रोन वैली दिस मेंट दैट इन द नेचुरल द फाउंडन गेट has been the center of concentrated attack during the siege of Jerusalem by the Babylonian army it is believed to have been named for the fountain gihon which is called the fountain of yahweh the fountain of israel the fountain of life the fountain of the steps the fountain gate refers to holy spirit During the feast of tabernacle Jesus said if any man is thirsty let him come to me and drink he that believeth on me as the scripture has said out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water John chapter 7 37-38 In obedience to Christ's invitation we are filled by the Holy Spirit according to Ephesians 5:18 When Nehemiah heard that the wall of Jerusalem was broken down and its gates were burned he wept in repentance with fasting and prayer asking God to remember his covenant and the promises that God had given to Israel and to restore the city again In Nehemiah's mind the restoration of the wall meant the restoration of the city and its inheritance along with redeeming it from defilement and sin brought by the enemy Zechariah foretold of fountain gate as a sign of restoration on that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness Zechariah 13:1 For us personally it is time to move on to fountain gate like how they sought after God to restore his heaven and promises and restore israel it is time to pray for us to be restored to become holy again of all the sins of israel there were two which were singled out by god as the most severe they have forsaken me the spring of living water and having dug their own cisterns broken cisterns they cannot hold water jeremiah 2:13 And in John 4 Jesus met a Samaritan woman at the well and asked for some water to drink. Jesus then told her about the living water that comes from God. He said the water that I shall give will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. John 4:14. The physical water we drink quenches us refreshes us and cleanses our body systems but only temporarily after a while we will feel thirsty and dehydrated and again we need to drink some more because jesus made us clean today holy spirit can come in and stay in us forever all of us can have this holy spirit in our hearts always wherever we are like the glass water the holy spirit gives us life God's eternal life like a glass of water the holy spirit satisfies us refreshes us and cleanses us from all the dirt that we have just like the gihon spring provides water and life to the whole city of jerusalem the holy spirit life springs up in us like a fountain blessing all those around us let us pray Thank you Jesus for giving us your holy spirit. We know that we will never thirst again. Help us to restore our life and enter a state of refreshing through filling us with the spirit. Amen.